order to begin using the HRC Evaluation Entry System, also referred to as EES, you must first go to the Evaluation Entry System webpage found at https colon forward slash forward slash evaluations.hrc.army.mil and log in using your CAT card. EES can also be found by going to the HRC homepage, then clicking on Self-Service, then clicking on the icon that says EES. Note, this icon has not been posted to the HRC homepage yet, but will be just prior to the implementation date. Let's go to the web page now. Once you have entered the link, the system will prompt you with a warning statement that warns you not to enter viable information into the training database. Note, this warning dialog box will go away just prior to the 1 April implementation date. It is important to note that all of the data entered into the training database will be erased 21 March 2014. Let's continue. The next page you will come to is the Terms of Use page. You will be required to click on the box agreeing to accept the Terms of Use and then be required to click on the Accept Terms button in order to proceed to the Evaluation Entry System webpage. This is the HRC Evaluation Entry System webpage. It is the primary page you will use to perform a variety of tasks with regard to evaluations. There are a variety of links, tools, and buttons that you can utilize depending on what you'd like to do. Unfortunately, some of the options shown are placeholders for things that are still in stages of development. For this demonstration, I'm going to create and complete a company-grade OER from an existing OER support form. For the sake of time, I have some comments already prepared that I will insert when needed. For this demonstration, I'm going to prepare a change of rater report, which is the most common type of report. For the sake of training, I'm going to prepare a company grade evaluation where the rated officer is a company commander, the rater is the battalion commander, and the senior rater is the brigade commander. Let's begin. I'm going to click on the Edit OER Support Form button which will take me to the Active Support Forms page. From this page, I'm going to click on the specific OER support form that I've already prepared. In this case, I'm looking for Captain Vo's support form. Once I find it, click on it. This is the OER support form that I've already created. From the OER support form shell, I will click on the Create OER button at the top to initiate the OER. This is the main OER shell screen you will use to navigate and complete various parts of the evaluation. Next, I'm going to click on the Raider Soldier button located at the top left of the screen, which will take me to step one of the admin data for the Rated Soldier. I must complete any blank fields which did not populate from the OER support form shell. Once I have completed all of the blank fields, I'm going to click Next to proceed to step two. You will also notice that the top of the form shows the form you're actually working on. The bottom portion is the wizard that you will be filling out. I've noticed that all of the data is here with the exception of the UIC, so I'm going to enter that now. Now that I've ensured that all of the information has been populated, I will click Next to proceed to the next step. I must enter data for each of the blank fields in order to complete step two. Once I have completed each field, I'm going to click Next. For the reason of submission, I'm going to click on the pull-down menu and select Change of Rater, which is the most common type of report. For the from date, I'm going to use 2012, August 01, through 2013, June 01. You'll notice that the number of rated months automatically calculates and it also shows the number of rated days. In this situation, we don't have any non-rated codes 
Therefore, we are going to leave it blank and click Next to proceed to the next step. From the OER shell, I'm going to click on the Raider button at the top of the page, which will take me to step one of the Raider admin data. I must populate any blank fields and then click Next to continue to step two of the Raider's admin data. Everything here is complete, so I will proceed. For step two, I must complete any blank fields. Once I have filled out each blank field, I will click Next to go to step three. In this situation, the only thing that's missing is the MSAF date. Users will also notice that down at the bottom, it shows which step that you are on within that particular field. In this situation, it's the Raiders portion. We're currently on step two, and now we'll be moving to step three by clicking next. I must complete step three by populating any blank fields. Captain Vo passes APFT, so I'm going to click on the APFT rating pull-down menu and select Pass. Next, I'm going to enter the APFT date, which is 2013-04-01. His height is 70 inches, his weight is 189 pounds, and he is within standard, so I'm going to click Yes. Since the new evaluation allows optional APFT comments, I'm going to annotate that Captain Vo scored 300 on his APFT. I'm going to fill out the number of officers I currently rate at this grade with a number of four. Next to the OER performance rating is a link which is highlighted in blue. I can check my profile stats by clicking the blue profile stats link. It will pull up a box which shows how many reports I have submitted broken down by category. In this situation, I can see that I have an Excel's block that I can give and stay below the 49% limit. This officer has outperformed his peers, therefore I'm going to click on the Excels box. After I have clicked Excels, I have to click the lock button to lock in that performance rating. Note that once it has been locked, it cannot be unlocked. It will also warn you saying you are locking in this performance rating. Once you click that second lock button, you cannot reverse it throughout the period of that entire evaluation. If you go back to your profile stats, here it tells you performance rating has been locked for profiling and cannot be undone. You can click on your profile stats to see that the math has been re-added. Now I have four Excels where I previously had three. I'm going to enter my comments for his overall performance. The last thing I must do is answer the question asking if I am serving as both the Raider and Senior Raider in this situation and I am not, so therefore I will click No and click Next to proceed to Step 4. I must complete Step 4 by populating the blank fields. I will insert narrative text that I have previously prepared for the sake of time. Once I have populated the fields, I'm going to click Next. I must fill out the blank fields. Since I have not entered any negative comments, I'm going to click No to the question asking if I entered any negative data. Then click Next, which will return me back to the OER shell. Now that I'm back to the OER shell main page, I need to complete the Senior Rater portion. I'm going to click on the Senior Rater button located at the top right of the page. I must review step one of the Senior Rater's admin data. It should be filled out, however, if there are any blank fields, I will need to complete them. Once all of the fields have been completed, I'm going to click Next to proceed to Step 2. Next, I need to complete Step 2. I need to enter the number of officers the Senior Raider rated at this grade. For this situation, I'm going to use 25. The Senior Raider meets the Senior Raider rating requirements, so I'm going to leave the box Yes. Next, I will have to enter the Senior Raider's comments as it pertains to Potential only. Next, I will list three successive duty assignments the Senior Raider believes the Rated Officer would best serve. I'm going to use Battalion S3, Battalion XO, and Brigade S4. I'm going to click No to the question asking if I have entered any negative comments. 
Then I'm going to click Next to proceed to step 3. Since a reviewer is not required in this situation, I'm going to confirm that the supplemental reviewer is not required by clicking No, then clicking Next to proceed back to the OER shell. Now let's take a look at the completed OER form. As you can see, the evaluation has been prepared and is now ready to be signed by each user. Once signed, it can be submitted to Headquarters DA. This concludes this demonstration.